I'm going to do a quick overview of the um, PCV system on our 3000 GTs. So all air is metered through the mass airflow sensor into the engine. Um, then it goes into the cylinders where it is compressed and there is air that will get uh, pushed past the piston rings which is called blow-by. So during a vacuum situation when the car is sitting under uh, idle uh, at its highest point of vacuum, um, the PCV valve here will uh, has a spring inside there with a little ball and it allows air to be pulled out of the engine back into the lower intake under vacuum. Um, and then that air, not only is it coming from the uh, blow-by from the pistons, but it's also drawing uh, some air in through the rear valve cover here. So air, which this has been modified, uh, but air will come out of your intake after your mass airflow sensor, possibly, it doesn't happen all the time, um, but it'll come out here, go into the rear um, intake, or the rear valve cover, and then it goes around the engine um, through this half inch hose, which is kind of like a balance hose, then it comes into the front valve cover then it goes through the PCV valve back into the intake. Under a boost condition, when the, of course the car is coming out vacuum going into boost, um, this will pressurize, which will cause this little ball in here to seat, and we'll no longer be pushing back this way. It kind of acts like a, like a check valve. So then what has to happen is all of the blow-by from the front intake now goes backwards through that half inch hose then it has to travel all the way through the rear valve cover as these re rear cylinders are uh, creating blow by pressure then um, this rear valve cover right here that air will then blow back into the intake of the car so what I'm going to be doing is something different and I'll get into that more here in a second on how I'm going to be deleting this and then relieving all of the uh, uh, blow by back into this intake through that oil catch can. So, currently, guys, I got the supercharger off the engine. I still need to put my timing covers on, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to basically delete my PCV valve. I always mess that up if I say it too fast. Um, and then basically run straight through a catch can off of my valve covers because as I mentioned that uh, seal was pushed out a little bit on that front main seal could have been from crankcase pressure who knows uh, at this point but I got the new seal in uh, so what I'm going to do is come off of um, right here and right here this is on the timing belt side of the valve covers and then I'm going to put a brass half inch uh, 90 on both sides run a half inch down here and then here is where the PCV valve went this guy here and it connects to this hose and goes down into the lower intake and as I mentioned previously it runs off of a vacuum I'm going to replace this with a regular uh, hose barb so this is a 10 millimeter by 10 uh, 1.0 thread and the big difference in these two if I can get these situated in my hand here is you can see the difference in the the openings of the holes on them so this one now will be running just off of crank or blow by pressure where this used to run off a of vacuum so this guy will go in here then I have these uh, T's, I'm trying to do all this with one hand. I got these T's that are 3 8 so 10 millimeters, basically 3 8 It's so 3 8 on this side, and then a half and a half. And then this would go here, connecting to the half inch running along, and then I'll go down to my old catch can. So let me get the hoses connected up here, and then I'll show you how I modified my old catch can. Alright guys, and here is the semi-finished product. Um, 
So you can see here, each one of these valve covers are connected on both ends now. From there to there. Uh, I told you wrong on this fitting. So I bought a 10 millimeter by 10.1.0 thread, but this is actually a 1 8 NPT. So uh, I had a uh, die that I just happened to put on the end of that and just clean the threads up a little bit. So this was able to screw in there nice and snug. So lastly, um, this is how I modified the cap to my oil separator down here. Um, as you can see, this oil separator is just straight down. It was red. I painted it black before I put it in the car. So what I've done here is I have half uh hose barbs going into the front side they carry on and come out the inside and i made these two tubes they're kind of like a, a dip tube as we would call them at work down legs whatever you want to call them and then we're coming out the top with a one half uh npt thread and a three quarter inch uh barb fitting um so what this will do is this will go down inside of here and then you'll have to, I'll have to bend it a little bit to slide it down. But so the uh, air will blow out towards the bottom of the oil catch can. And then I'm going to use these steel wool scrubby pads and then tuck them down inside of there. And then the air will blow in the bottom. In a sense, filter up through this uh, stainless steel scrubby. I got two of them to stick in there. Then, if, as you can see here, the air will come out the top through that three-quarter. And then from there, it'll connect into my cold air intake. And then that should complete the circuit. Uh, I don't know how about if I have any clearance issues up here yet. Because i got to get the supercharger out and get it set back into place. Uh, after I run some uh, uh, pigtails off there and there. Uh, so that I don't have any issues putting hose on those. Uh, but right now it looks like it all should fit. So anyways, that's how I'm going to delete my PCV. Uh, so all blow by in the engine will basically go through the old catch can back into the intake ahead of the throttle body. You can't see that now, of course, because my supercharger is not on there. But that's how it'll end up. Hopefully that'll work and relieve all my crankcase pressure um, and prevent any more seals from leaking. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quick, sweet, to the point. We'll catch you on the next one.